my channel and today you might be wondering what am I doing with all of this unhealthy food? Well, today I'm going to be testing out TikTok food hacks. All this food looks delicious by itself, but I don't know about it being together. <laughs> Ooh. Oh wait, before we get started, we are going to do a like and subscribe button challenge. You have to press the like and subscribe button with your pinky finger. Can you do it? All right, you've got five seconds. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. Now let's actually get started. After each TikTok food hack, I'm going to set aside a little taste, and then when I'm done with all of them, I'm going to eat one big taste of all of them combined, and it's not going to taste good. I mean, we've got grapes and Cheetos. The things I do for YouTube. The first TikTok food hack is what I like to call the lazy, spicy rom crunch. I know, I'm really bad at coming up with names. All you need is ramen noodles. These were the only ramen type thing that was in the entire store. So I have spicy miso, and I don't like spicy, so hopefully it's not too spicy. Then you need a spoon and a Ziploc bag. Let's get crunching. Open the package. Crunch. Pour in powder. Oh no. This is a sauce. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, it was satisfying and then it got gross. Ugh. Ew. Mix it up. All right, it's time to taste it. Looks pretty good. We have to do the next one. I know. C can you get to the next one? Uh, go. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of ate them all, so I had to make one more for the bowl. This next one is what I like to call bloopsicle. Poor blueberries. Pour milk on plate. This looks like blueberry cereal. Maybe I can pop it in the freezer a little bit. Maybe that'll work. Hopefully. Let's pop it in the freezer. Take it out of the freezer. It worked! Woo! All right, time to try it. Let's see how this tastes. I mean, it can't taste bad, right? It's blueberries. Great. It kind of just tastes like milk and a little bit of blueberry. Maybe if you added more blueberries. So if you try this, make sure to add more blueberries. Time to add my taste. Perfect. The next one is mac and pizza. 
pizza. I mean, I like mac and cheese and I like pizza, so why would I not like mac and pizza? So first, boil water. It's boiling. Time to pour in the macaroni. Wait for it to cook. Strain. Time to pour in our delicious cheese-ish sauce. Ooh, why does that look so gross? <laughs> That's a lot of cheese sauce. Is this to use all of that? Mix it up. I was just seeking a taste. My mom and I were just arguing whether or not the cheese powder is better or the cheese sauce is better. So I want you guys to comment on my community post whether you like the cheese powder or the cheese sauce better. Now I'm going to take my Mi Casa Loca flour tortillas. I'm very bad at accents, as you can see. I'm going to take one of these tortillas. I'm going to add my mac and cheese on the tortilla like so. For aesthetic purposes, add the cheese that you like. On top. Bon appetit, the mac and pizza. Now we cut it like a pizza. Let's try it. We're losing our mac and cheese. Look at it. Nope. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, let's try it. Me? It's good. There's nothing not to like about it. It's just carbs, so I can't not like it. I cut a teeny little piece of mac and pizza, and now I'm going to put it in our bowl. Okay guys, I'm really starting to get scared of this bowl of TikTok hacks. It's literally gonna taste so gross. I didn't realize we had this many things. I call this one flameroni and cheese. All we need is macaroni and cheese, which we made in the food hack before this one, and flaming hot Cheetos, in a baggie. So, let's get crushing and munching these Cheetos. <sighs> Perfect! Now that it's like a powder, I'm just going to pour it on top of my mac and cheese. There we go. Time for the taste test. Cheers. Mmm. <sighs> oh, I forgot how spicy those were. <laughs> It would be an awesome prank to crush these Cheetos up and put it in a seasoning bottle. Time to add our flameroni and cheese into our bowl of madness. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Perfect. It looks good, but it ain't gonna taste good. The next TikTok food hack is a cup cake. Get it? All you will need is a mug, Oreos and a little bit of milk and a fork. I'm going to put four Oreos in our mug. Perfect. And now I'm going to add a little bit, a teeny weeny little bit of milk. Let's do a little bit of milk, like that much. I have a little bit of anxiety from milk now. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out my YouTube video called Instagram Dares. Now we mash them. All right, I think I got it to the right consistency. It's really, really thick. It is really, really thick, which is a good thing. You do not want it to be super thin, which was the mistake that I made the first time I made this, and it did not turn out good. So I'm really hoping that this will work this time. Just gonna mix it up a little bit more, make sure that there are no more clumps, and it's super mixed in there, and then we're going to pop it in the microwave for a minute to two minutes. So I'm gonna put it in there for one minute first. I'm just going to check and make sure that it comes off clean. All right, it's not coming off quite clean yet, so I'm gonna put it in there for 10 more seconds. It just needs a little bit more time. All right, let's see. Ooh, it looks good. That's a cake, right? How did it turn into a cake? We just used Oreos and milk. That's crazy. All right, let's try it. Hold up. That is so good. 
Oh my gosh. This cupcake gets a 11 out of 10. The next TikTok food hack is what I like to call a muglet. And we're making an omelet inside of the mug, just like we made the cake inside of a mug. I like to eat anything that sounds cute. So first I'm just going to add any vegetable or meat. Sadly, we are out of most things, so all I can add is onion. Bruh. So I'm gonna add my onion. Two eggs. Time to mix. Now that it is all mixed up, I'm going to put this in the microwave for one minute. Okay. Whoa, look at that, look at how big that got. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I'm going to mix it up a little bit more and I'm going to pop this back in the microwave for 30 seconds, and I'm going to add some cheese on it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salsa for a little bit more flavor. Whoa. Time to try it. I'm gonna mix it up, and we'll taste test it. Mmm, mmm. That is really good, but I would not call this an omelet. I would just call this scrambled eggs in a mug. I'm ready to add this to the bowl. Look at that cheese. Mm. It's getting really big. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all of this at once. The next TikTok food hack is what I call hot sticks. It's a mozzarella stick, but instead of using the regular breading, we're going to use flaming Hot Cheetos. So let's start making these hot sticks. Okay, so what you need for your hot Cheetos, two bowls, cheese sticks, egg, vegetable oil, and an old pan because we do not fry food in our house very often. And we'll probably ruin our pan. Pound it out. Crack an egg in the other bowl. Ooh, we lost an egg. Cut your cheese sticks in half. Now, we're going to dip it in the eggs. Now in your Flamin' Hot Cheeto breadcrumbs. Back in the eggs. And back in the Cheetos. Next, fry them up. Mom! We breaded them, we did everything we're supposed to do. We turned the oil, we got the oil really hot, then we put them in, and we let them sit there for two seconds. And they're black. I don't understand. But, I mean, I agreed to try them, so I guess I'll try them. Let's just do a little stretch with this one. Ooh. Even though it's black, it does have a good stretch. Okay, I'm gonna try the one that's actually like decent. Like this one has a good side, but it also has a bad side. But I'm gonna try it. Okay. Ooh. Nope. Mm. Taste burnt. <sighs> Guys, my bowl of madness is getting worse and worse, but I guess it's time to place this burnt mozzarella stick on. Right here. At least it looks cute. The last TikTok food hack is what I call a quarantine frap. Since we're not supposed to leave our houses, we can't go to Starbucks. So I'm gonna make one at home. Ice. Very loud. Milk. Dos Oreos. Chocolate syrup. Perfect. And blend. It's blended! Now I'm going to pour it into my cup. Ooh, that was perfect. 
add toppings of your choice. Marshmallows. It's time to taste my quarantine prep. I even put it in a Starbucks cup to trick my mind that it's just a regular Frappuccino from Starbucks. Let's try it. That's really good. I would definitely recommend it. It's perfect. It's really good. Wow. On a scale of one to 10, this is a 11 up there with that cake. Really good. These TikTok hacks worked so well. This video was a complete success. Oh wait. Oh no. I forgot about our. Madness. Wait, how am I even gonna pour a drink on this? What? It's gonna make everything so. Okay, I guess I just, I have to try it. I told you guys I would. So I'm gonna do it. Mom, I had to do it. I told them that I was going to eat this bowl of madness even with this milkshake. All right. Okay, so it's time. I have to eat all these good by themselves things all together. Okay, okay. How do I even get them all with a spoon? Okay, I just gotta do it. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Then. Oh my god. Ah, uh, don't. Yeah, uh, don't do that. No, no, I have to do it. Ah, uh, I can't watch. Okay, I have to do it. No. Look. Oh. <laughs> oh, I told you not to do it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Ugh. And press the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a new video. All right, bye, love you. Mwah.